Hey guys, this is the Reaper, back again with another Reaper's review. So today we're going to be reviewing episode 5 of Boruto, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we start out the episode during a bit of a commotion. It seems like a former student is throwing a temper tantrum because he believes he was mistreated at the academy. For some reason there are no police or more high rank ninja to deal with this situation. So, Boruto and his merry band of delinquents are going to step in. And Boruto does take notice that this is another one of the individuals who has been inflicted by this strange aura. After a lackluster back and forth, the tantrum thrower sees that he's outmatched and makes a run for it. As Boruto and friends close in on their target, they see that he's already been taken care of by a mysterious figure. After a brief verbal exchange with the mystery boy, and Boruto verifies that the dark aura has now dissipated, the two go their separate ways. Now, if you've ever seen anime before, then you're probably not going to be surprised that this mystery character suddenly appears as a new transfer into Boruto's quest. He says, my name is Mitsuki, and I am definitely not suspicious. So throughout the school day, we start to see that Mitsuki is very smart. He's also very strong, almost killing former tough guy Iwabe in a sparring match. But Boruto and the others definitely see something off about the new transfer student. His communication cues and verbal awareness seem to be completely Oh, good thing we don't have any experience dealing with these kind of characters already. And while these shenanigans are going on, we get a reminder that the class is actually doing their studies outside because they did destroy a part of the school last episode. Shino Sensei tries to get advice on how to deal with yet another troublesome student and ends up deciding that the best way to meet Ski to fit in with the other students is by throwing him a welcoming party. Shino goes all out, providing snacks and entertainment, as well as dressing up in a fancy getup. But when it's revealed that he's using swarms of bugs to control the stuffed animals and decorations, the students begin freaking out. And although this is probably an appropriate response, you do have to wonder why exactly the other bugs burst out of their hiding place when only one of the stuffed animals were being squeezed. Well, actually, maybe you don't have to wonder, it might be optional. So, Mitsuki once again responding in mechanical fashion to his classmates' cries to get rid of the bugs, he blows them away with his breakthrough jutsu, unleashing such powerful gusts of wind that they actually cause more disruption to the already destroyed portion of the school and putting some of the workers in danger. Shino is publicly reprimanded for having an out of control class, and said out of control class begins to berate Shino as well for not being able to control them, leading Shino to further doubt his ability. Later on, one of those same workers who was working on rebuilding the school flies into a rage and begins destroying the school even further, saying that it's pointless to do this kind of work because even if he is able to rebuild it, the students will come and destroy it some more. And considering events of the past few weeks, this is not a bad assessment. However, on closer inspection, it seems that this person is also being consumed by that dark horror. So, Boruto and friends rush to the rescue once more because at the shinobi school, where high-ranked shinobis teach low-ranked shinobis about how to beat ninja, there is nobody else more qualified there. Seriously, not even one chunin or jonin shows up. And now we get our second lackluster fight of the episode. The Reaper! Boruto and his friends aren't at war like they were in Naruto! The Reaper! You're not being fair! But Reaper, of course we're not going to be having god tier battles, it's only episode 5! Ahem, <clears throat> if you are quite done. Yes, I understand these aren't exactly fights with the highest of things. However, just for 
quick reference, these are the types of fights that we will see at the same point in Naruto. You might notice that there is no Sage Mode or Mon Gekyo or KCM involved. However, it's still dynamic and exciting. All I'm saying is, if we're gonna have a fight, let's have a fight. Now, it seems like the group almost has things under control when Boruto jumps out of nowhere and he and the disgruntled builder take a tumble off the guardrail. Now, I don't know why, but Boruto seems like he was very committed to this attack as Mitsuki later reveals that an impact without his intervention could have quite possibly killed the both of them. However, as the dust settles on this incident, Mitsuki confirms that he can also sense the Dark Aura, though perhaps in a different way than Boruto. Although Shigadai is now growing in suspicion of Mitsuki, Boruto decides to put his trust in Mitsuki for now. Though unbeknownst to Boruto, we do get this clip of Mitsuki reporting to an unknown source and making comments about finding his child? Oh, 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 Alright, we're gonna leave that one alone for now. So, we check in with Shino-sensei and we see once again Boruto and his classmates have caused more trouble for Shino as he gets reprimanded for the 8th time today. This appears to be the straw that breaks the camel's back, and we see Shino also being consumed by that dark aura. He writes a letter calling out Boruto, Mitsuki, and Shigadai for some extracurricular lessons in the middle of the woods, which definitely seems like it's on the level and not suspicious at all. But this time it seems like Boruto and friends are a little ahead of the game as they right away send something a bit amiss with Shino Sensei. And that's actually where the episode ends off, as kind of a cliffhanger. So what exactly is Reaper's work? Well, cliches aside, they had all the recipes for an interesting episode. The introduction of a mysterious new student with obvious ulterior motives, picking up and focusing on a mystery that has been following our character since episode 1, multiple fights in a single episode, and ending on a cliffhanger gearing up for what seems like will be a serious fight for next episode. Unfortunately, even with all those points being in Boruto's favor, it's my opinion that they still failed to provide an interesting episode. All the progressions were just as predictable as you can expect, and it doesn't help when our mysterious student has a clone identity of people that we are already familiar with. All in all, it was a pretty bland episode all around, which sadly seems to be kind of the baseline for Boruto. But we do have a cliffhanger, as mentioned before, so maybe they'll be able to pull something out of the hat for next episode. Only time will tell. But for now, I think it's time to bring this review to a close. My name is The Reaper, and I'm a YouTuber for fun. Today's challenge, do 20 push-ups. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next one.